Okay, so today's the day. Today I'm gonna build an arch trellis. Um, that flimsy fencing was not gonna, it's not gonna work. Um, I also tried some uh, uh, plastic lattice that we had. That did a little bit better, but it just wasn't gonna work. So my husband went and got me some PVC um, and it's the, the electrical conduit, not the plumbing PVC, because the electrical was a little more bendy. I wanna make sure I can get an arch. We have eight foot pieces. These are the kind that lock together. So if we have to cut a piece, I'm not sure how we're gonna get them together. Anyway, cross that bridge when I get to it. I've got rebar to put the PVC onto to kind of hold it to the ground. And then we're gonna try to do this. Fingers crossed, wish me luck. Okay. Okay, so I went and measured um, the lattice that I have leaning up against that tree and the fencing. Um, the fencing was like 36 inches. The lattice was like 37 maybe, almost 37. So I'm gonna go with 36 inches for the span of the rebar, just in case I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I wanna make sure that both of them will span across it. Okay, there it is. Of course, everyone's doing their yard work. My husband's mowing now. If I don't have a way to cut these, oh, man, those are eight foot pieces. This could be a 16 foot tall arch. We'll see. Here we go. Well, the conduit fits on the rebar, so that's good. That is way too tall. Um, <laughs> might need my husband. Because what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to cut the bottom of the PVC, because the connector top is at the top where you connect them. The connector, hold please. This end is what I have over the PVC, right, over the rebar right now. And then this end here has a little like bell on it so that it's like wider where you could connect the two together. So because we didn't buy any little connector pieces, which we may have some in the garage, I don't know, but we didn't buy any. Um, I'm gonna have to make my cuts at the bottom so that that end can just slide back down over the PVC to make the top part shorter so that we can bend it. Cause right now, you know what? <gasps> what if, what if I connect two pieces right now? Like connect two pieces on the ground, set it back down over it and use two pieces to make an arch instead of three. Cause I was thinking it would take three pieces. Let me try that. Obviously you do know, I don't know what I'm doing. I have locked two pieces together and this might work. Are you kidding me right now? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I did that. Yeah, still feels a little wonky though. <laughs> a little, um, anyway. Once I strap some uh, trellising to it, it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. Um, okay, let's do the second one. It still kind of wants to lean in on each other. You know what you need? You need bracers in the middle. It needs bars in the middle to hold it at the distance that I want it. Okay. So I will need, <laughs> it's not as easy as I thought. It's gonna be a little more difficult. One, two, maybe three, three foot pieces. So I'm thinking, let's think about this. So I'm thinking, uh, see how it's leaning in on each other. So I need some bars to hold it apart. I don't know if we have the stuff to do that. So stay tuned. I gotta go get Mr. Smith. Okay. Yeah, he's opening one there. I'm 
So lucky for us, Mr. Smith had these little tea, tea fittings. So that's what we're using. Arch now. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I love it. Love it. Um, next, I have to decide if I'm going to use the brown lattice or if I'm going to use the galvanized fencing. My husband thinks I should use the fencing because it's lighter if it's real windy. Like it's a little bit windy today, not real windy. But in the wind, he's saying this is not very structurally, like, mm, you know, it's not very sturdy. So using the lighter fencing would be better than using the heavier trellis. I don't know. Um, I think the trellis would look pretty. It would match the trellis that's on the pergola here. I don't think it's that heavy, but you know, he knows more about things, those kind of things. Yeah. So we're probably gonna go with the fencing. Even though the trellis would look prettier. That is a little bit flimsy. So, oh my gosh, let me tell you. The uh, materials to make this arch today, 76 ding dang dollars. I haven't produced 76 dollars in vegetables this season. It's not paying for itself, it's not at all. The, he said the re, I didn't go with him to the store, but it was 76 dollars for six pieces of PVC and four pieces of rebar. He said that rebar was almost 10 bucks a piece. For rebar, what? This is a 76 dollar trellis. I probably could have bought one for 76 dollars. Anyway, 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 so let me, um, let me grab, I'm just going to grab one piece of lattice. I'm just going to hold it up. See, he's probably right. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm getting a piece of lattice. Okay, so I did pick up a piece of lattice to bring it over here and it was feeling kind of heavy. So three pieces would be three times as heavy. So, fencing. So the snips I'm using. Just uh, regular plier snips. This part here cuts the wire. I'm glad I did not use the lattice. I did not want to fight with that. It was awkward enough dealing with this lightweight fencing. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna start zip tying from the bottom so I can get it tight and flush up against the supports. I'll start at the bottom with zip ties and just kind of tighten and pull as I go up. million zip ties um this is going really well so i'll probably turn the camera off finish this part um it's just zip tie you know what i'm doing anyway um okay be back in a minute Anyway, PVC, nice, uh, whatever this is, a T couple, don't know the words, anyway, and a zip tie, and fencing, so, there we go, it looks good, um, and zip ties are every, I don't know, every foot or so. So I can always, uh, like right here, I could always add more to push that back in anyway. But it's looking good. 
So we've got uh, bracer bars here to hold it this way, one over there, and then one up top. Um, I'm so glad he had those tea thingies. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about it. So I am very pleased with this arch. What I would also like to tell you is this arch could have been done way cheaper with a 16 foot cattle panel <laughs> and some T-posts. I made it way harder than it needed to be, but it's very pretty. It reminds me um, the front of it. I think I'm gonna call it the wagon arch because the way it's shaped reminds me of a um, an old timey Western wagon, the, the covered part, the covered wagon. <laughs> it does. You have to admit it does, anyway. Anyway, project finished, and I love it. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.